Hello and welcome to our lesson on sketching quadratic graphs. So in this lesson we're going to sketch a quadratic graph through the method of completing the square. So the first thing we need to do is to write this equation in completed the square form. So to do this we need to have the coefficient of x which is negative 4. So we have y is equal to x minus 2 all squared and then when we expand these brackets, we get an unwanted 4 term, which is negative 2 squared. So we take away this 4, and we add back the 3. If you're not sure how to complete the square, there's a link to a video on this in the description below. So now we can simplify this. So we have y is equal to x minus 2 squared, and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So now we have it in completed the square form, I'm going to use function notation to transform the most basic quadratic, which is when f of x is equal to x squared. So now we're going to transform this function to create this graph. So the first thing that we need to do, well, we have x minus 2 in place of x. This is what we're squaring here. So we're going to write f of x minus 2 in place of x is equal to x minus 2 squared. So I've just substituted x minus 2 into here. So f of x minus 2 is a horizontal translation where we move the function two units to the right. So here's f of x, we're going to move it two units to the right and this x value now is at 2. The next part, we have a negative 1 in our equation. So we're going to add this to our function notation, where we have f of x minus 2, and then we're taking away 1. And this will give us x minus 2, all squared, take away 1. And again, this is another translation, but this time a vertical translation, where we're moving the curve one unit down. So we're currently along the x-axis, we move it one unit down. So our y value for the minimum of the curve is negative one. So now we can identify the turning point. And the turning point is at the minimum of the curve. And this is when we go from a negative gradient to a positive gradient. So our turning point has a coordinate of two and negative one. And next, we can identify the intercept, which is the y value at this point, when x equals 0. So to work out the intercept, I'm going to substitute x equals 0 into our equation. y is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 1. So y is equal to negative 2 squared, which is 4. Take away for 1, and this is 3. So this is our intercept here. And finally, we're going to identify the line of symmetry. And this runs parallel to the y-axis and passes through the minimum point. So in this equation is x is equal to 2. OK, let's try another question. So now we're going to sketch a graph of y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2. Do you want to try and complete the square for this quadratic? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we're going to have the coefficient of x, and this is half of negative 6. So we have y is equal to x minus 3 squared. Now we're going to complete the square by taking away the 9, and then we add the 2. So when we simplify this, we have x minus 3, all squared, take away 11. And like we did in the last question, we're going to sketch this by considering the basic quadratic function when f of x is equal to x squared. So now we're going to build up this f of x into this form by replacing x with x minus 3. So we have f of x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 squared. And this is a horizontal translation, 3 units to the right. So we can translate our curve to about here. 
where x is equal to 3. Going back to our equation, now we're going to take away the 7. So now we have f of x minus 3, take away the 7. So our equation becomes x minus 3 squared, take away the 7. So we take our graph and we move it 7 units down. So now we can work out our turning point. And this is where x equals 3 and y equals minus 7. So next, we'll work out the intercept when x equals 0. So we'll substitute this into 0 minus 3 squared, take away 7. Negative 3 squared is 9, so y is equal to 2, which we can mark here. And finally, our line of symmetry. Again, this will run parallel to the y-axis. It will pass through the turning point. So this will have an equation of x is equal to 3. Okay, let's try one more question. So now for our final question. And this is slightly more difficult because we have a 2x squared here. But again, we'll begin by completing the square. So when we complete the square, we need a coefficient of x squared to be 1. So I'm going to factorise out the 2. So we have y is equal to 2 lots of x squared plus 2x. We'll close the bracket and then we'll take away the 5. And now I'm going to complete the square of x squared plus 2x. So y is equal to 2 lots of x plus 1, having the coefficient of x squared. We'll complete the square by taking away 1. And all of this is multiplied by the 2. And then we'll take away the 5. So our next step, we're going to expand the bracket. So we have two lots of x plus 1 squared. And then the 2 times the negative 1 is negative 2. And then take away 5. And this we can simplify to minus 7. We'll start with f of x again. As x squared. Again, we'll build this up. So we're going to replace x with x plus 1. So we have f of x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 squared. And this is a horizontal translation. When this time we're moving one unit to the right. So along the x-axis, this has moved to negative 1. Now the next bit, we're going to consider this multiplication of 2. I'm writing this with function notation. We have two lots of f of x plus 1. And this will give us two lots of x plus 1, all squared. So this is a horizontal stretch where we are compressing the curve. So this will look now something like this. So it's being compressed by a scale factor of 2. And just to make it easier to see, I'm going to delete the original. So going back to our equation, now we're going to take away the 7. So we have 2f, lots of x plus 1, take away the 7. So our equation becomes 2 lots of x plus 1 squared, take away the 7. So you can see we've built up to our, our equation. So we'll move our curve down by 7 units. So our turning point has a y value of negative 7. And this gives us the coordinates of negative 1, negative 7. And next we'll work out the intercept. So when x equals 0, y is equal to negative 5. And finally, the line of symmetry. We know this runs parallel to the y-axis and it cuts through the turning point. So this has the equation x equals negative 1. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.